we begin with right censored data. For some of our subjects, we observe the event of interest, and so we know their true event time. In our plot, these subjects are represented by solid black circles. The rest of the subjects have been censored. We do not observe them have the event, but we do know they did not have the event before their censoring time. In our plot, these subjects are represented with white circles. The presence of censoring makes it challenging to model our data. Let's reshape our data so we can reframe our survival problem as a classification problem. For the first observed event time, we construct a risk set data matrix and outcome vector. The data matrix contains the covariates for each subject in the data at this event time, and a risk set indicator telling us that we're looking at the first risk set. Our outcome vector tells us which subject had the event at this time. Our data matrix and outcome vector will become the first block in our stacked data. Now we repeat this for the second observed event time. We create our risk set data matrix and outcome vector containing covariates, risk set indicators, now indicating the second risk set, and outcome vector. We then append this to our stacked data matrix. And we continue this process for every observed event time in our data. Once we finish, we have a data set with a predictor matrix X and a binary outcome Y. And we can now apply our favorite classification methods to our stacked data. Yay!